Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm doing the Halloween Town St. Helens in Oregon. And I just want to start off by saying that um, it was an okay experience for us. It was our first time going here and we weren't aware of the place, how it's gonna, how it was going to be like. So we went on the website and it said that we needed to pay for parking and also pay for entry. And I'm not sure what we even paid for because um, it's like a town. It's just a town that anyone can walk in. And I don't know why, why they made us pay for it. Um, when we went there, we realized that a lot of people were just parking on the side of the streets. And they were just walking there. And um, we had to pay for parking. Um, so, yeah. That was a down part and then there wasn't really much to see um the lines were very very long the hunted um little house thing um we weren't able to go in there because the line was very long but the reviews were saying that it wasn't worth it and also the decorations were not like spooky it was just like just a little um town that everyone decorates for halloween so there wasn't much to see the only good thing about it was that i got to visit the twilight house in person for the first time and i also love the parade that they did at the end of the day but i didn't really get to enjoy it because my kids were already very tired from being there all day and waiting because we waited for so long for the parade. It was supposed to start like at 7, I believe, and it started till like 8.30. Um, we didn't get to stay much, but it looked very fun. And the lightning of the pumpkin um, looked pretty awesome too, but we didn't get to stay for that. So this is just like a heads up for the St. Helens Halloween um, look at the reviews and don't pay for the parking or entry like we did you can save yourself so much money um so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed my little video on the st helen's halloween and don't forget to subscribe